Today I'm going to check to make sure that my x-axis and my y-axis are perpendicular to each other or 90 degrees. If they're not, squares will come out as parallelograms and circles will come out oval shaped. I've clamped a square onto my print bed and I've attached my dial indicator to the extruder. You can start with either axis, but I'm going to start with the x-axis. I've already lined up my square so that when I run my extruder back and forth, it, the dial indicator will be on zero. And now without moving the square, I'm going to turn the dial indicator 90 degrees and check the y-axis. Now I'll move the y-axis and check to see if it's straight. As you can see by the movement of the dial indicator, it's out quite a few thousands, and so I'll have to adjust it. I'll either have to move the front of the rods or the back of the rods, left or right, until the y-axis reads zero on the indicator. As you adjust the y-axis, obviously the square is going to move and you'll have to recheck your x-axis. You have to go back and forth between the x-y-axis until they're both zero. It's kind of tedious work, but it'll be worth it. After you made your adjustments, you should be able to check each side of the square without moving it, and your indicator should read zero in both axes. You can use the same technique to make sure your z-axis is perpendicular to your bed by clamping a square to the bed and turning your dial indicator so it runs along the edge of the square. After you've checked your z-axis in one direction, you should turn your square so you can check in the other direction. It can take a lot of adjustment to get your X and Y axis perpendicular to each other and your Z axis perpendicular to the print bed in both directions. But when you're done you'll have a better quality part and I definitely think it's worth it. 